Hey everyone, welcome to this video episode by Solid Shell Security. And tonight what we are going to be doing is talking about how to get command prompt on a machine that has it disabled. In some cases, this will work if you can't get it directly, but it all really depends on what security settings the administrators have set. I mean, this is probably a more common practice at, say, uh, a school, public school system, maybe a college. If you wanted to get onto one, this is probably more likely where you're going to find this option. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to bring up MS Paint, and what we've already done is we've got one pixel high and six pixels across. Uh, first thing first, click the pencil, micro one, get the smallest size, and what we're going to do is we're going to make some colors. So the first one is going to be a 10, 0, 0, 0 pop. Second one is going to be a 13, 10, 13. So that's the second one. Then for the third one, we're looking at a 100, 100, 109, 99. And click. All right, 120, 101. Or there we go. Click. Then zero zero one oh one. Zero zero zero. Okay. So now we've got our colors. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a save as. You wanna do a twenty four BMP. Let me make sure I click the BMP real quick. Uh, yeah, BMP, 24-bit BMP, we're going to save this as, say, cmd.bat, save, and click here, and double-click, and what do you know? We just launched our command prompt window, and we've got control, yippee. So, anyway, we'll just show what happened is you can bring up any hex editor real quick. And let's see, where is it? Here we go, drag it in. And here we go. So where it's a BMP file, and what we used was the colors to create a hex command in here. So that's the CMD exe. And well, the other thing that you can do with this is you can put in others, like slash commands after that. So you can completely set up an entire uh, batch file here and be able to launch commands and keep a window open so if you really want to keep this put on a USB to stick carry it around with you and you always have it you know you can memorize the color commands and keep them with you um, so you got all those options and for those who want to see the commands here I'm going to put this all in right, right there is the color code commands you know red green blue so that's what's going to end up eventually giving you the command.exe. And I mean, if you want to, you can look more into this. We'll do some of the videos on this whole thing and show how you can get more stuff in. But this is just like a quick little nugget, you know, just to let you guys have some fun. And if you guys find some other cool stuff with this, you get some stuff posted on the community, you know, we'd love to hear about it. So, you know, just, you know, enjoy that one, guys. And we'll talk to you later.